whoever used psychologic whoever used biological warfare against you is going to end up dead they're going to turn up dead there's no coming back from this one all right whoever used biological warfare against you is going to turn up dead there's no coming back from this one there's no coming back from this this time biological warfare all right you have someone who is dirty you have someone who is filthy and disgusting and this person played a foul game biological warfare all right this person is pretty much trying to take your life if they could if their goal was to take you out of here they would do it and some of them have tried all right some of them have tried to get you sick to the point to where you may have had to go to the hospital or god forbid or you never know all the times where you may have had a stomach problem or a stomach issue or something where you may not have been feeling good it, it was it was probably some foul play at hand all right people who commit biological warfare on you they're going to end up hurt they're going to end up sick or possibly worse all right there there's anything that could possibly happen could happen when someone is trying to contaminate you or make you sick you could possibly die if someone tries to if someone tries to make you sick and they get you sick enough there are there like sociopathic people they think this is a game they think things like this are a game all right these are the types of people that will push their friend into a pool knowing that he can't swim and then when that person passes away due to lack of uh swimming mobility and they have to spend jail uh, they have to spend the rest of their life in jail or their rich mommy and daddy are able to get them out that situation oh first offense or this that and the other they still gonna suffer all right they're still going to suffer their parents might have been able to get them out of it legally, but who's going to be able to get them out of it spiritually? Especially if they're not turning to God and asking for forgiveness. But those that don't repent, those that could care less, and those that continue on to be evil and wicked and continue on to harm more people and hurt more people, they're going to get their just due. Because those are the people... That they say, you know what, God, I'm not going to stop this. They say, you know what, God, I'm not going to stop being evil and wicked. They say, you know what, God, I like this too much. I like being evil to people. I like being mean to people. I like being nasty to people. I like hurting people. I like causing people harm. And people joke around. People joke around with this type of stuff until the chips hit the fan and until that karma comes back and strikes them. Pe people can laugh at this, make fun of this. They can joke with this all they want. That's between them and that's between them and the higher power that they believe in or don't believe in. Or that's between them and the universe or that's between them and life. Whatever contract they have with being alive here, breathing air on this earth. There's checks and balances. There's checks and balances. Do unto others as you want done unto you. All right. Those who don't obey and abide by the, the golden rule. Those who don't obey and abide by the golden rule. They bind themselves spiritually. Those are the people who end up in some type of prison or some type of spiritual jail after they leave this earth. All right. Those, those are the types of people that end up. They end up going. All right. What they put out eventually ends up coming back to them. What they put out eventually ends up creating a way for it to happen to them. It ends up creeping its way back into their own life. They wanted sickness for someone else. They wanted someone else to suffer. They wanted someone else to not be healthy. They wanted someone, someone else to go through some type of discomfort. You know, like even if you even if you get someone sick to the point to where, oh, this person just had a stomach issue, people have died from being dehydrated. And I don't mean to be morbid. 
with this. I actually hope I'm. I actually hope I, I put the the out, the fear in some of these evil people to change their ways and repent, so that way they don't continue to do what's wrong. You know what? That is wrong. I shouldn't have did that to that person. I I, sh I may not be able to say anything, but you know what? The one thing person I can do is say, uh, the one thing I can do is I can talk to God and I can repent and I can change my ways. It may not be wise or smart to make it hot for myself. So that way I end up in any type of situation. But, you know, that's why it's best to just not get into that type of stuff in the first place. That's why it pays to be a good person. That's why it pays to do what's right. And it pays to do unto others as you want done unto you. Who's to say the universe may not have somebody just walk past you, sneeze, and then you die? All right, who's to say? And I, I don't mean to be morbid. But these these are the types of conversations that nobody wants to have. But these things are real. You have people who will not care and will say, you know what? F this person, F their health. And the person that the, the, the fact that this person is alive, the fact that this person is breathing, they have a family that loves them, that cares about them. None of that goes through that person's mind. I want to do something sadistic. I want to do something sick. I want to do something I want to I want to do something dastardly. I want to do something diabolical to another person. I want to see this person go through hell because that's what I want. That's entertaining for me. That's enjoyment for me. I get to high five some people. I get to slap five some people. I get to up myself and feel good about myself because I have a, 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 a low vibrational spirit to where I got to take somebody else out to feel better. Somebody else has got to hurt for me to, to, for, for me to feel good, for me to feel healed, for me to feel whole. I need you to hurt in order for me to feel whole. And they never, and they never, they never end up accomplishing any, anything much spiritually because that takes growth. It takes growth to, um, it takes growth to manifest some type of spiritual intelligence some type of emotional intelligence. It takes growth to want to become better than what you are right now, especially if you're being a tyrant. All right, and everybody may go through phases. Everybody may go through a time period where they're not their best. But those are the people who are influenced by others because people, only people who know better can truly change. Only people who it's in them to change can change. People who are disturbed characters, people who like Doing things like this is going to be a, a snowball's chance in hell for them to try to consider changing. I just want to drive that on home to some of you all. Hoping, wishing, praying, waiting, wanting somebody to change. But all we can do is change our situation for the better. All we can do is change ourselves. Looking back on some of the times where... I had stomach issues or where I was this or where I was that. I'm pretty sure there was some foul play involved just because of the type of, a, of awareness that I have now with the effect that I'm understanding people have when it comes to the, the my spirit and how it affects theirs. Some people will not care about what they do to you because it's not them. And number two, they feel that you deserve it. Here is the wicked, sick part behind their intention. All because of you making them feel some type of way. That is what's called a narcissistic injury. All right. You're injuring people and you're unaware of it. That's what the dirty looks are for. That's what the competition is for. That's what all these petty things are for. You're injuring people left and right and not even knowing it. People are, and you're injuring people's egos, bruising people's egos, all right? Making people not feel too highly about themselves. Imagine someone with an inferiority complex feeling good and happy and like all the things are working out. And then you come around and make this person realize that they're not what they thought they were. A wise person would take that and look at the area of their life that they need to improve in and shut up and improve. A hater is going to try to basically take out what's causing them to feel that they need to do better. They look at you as, as, as someone that's harming them because you make them feel that they need to do better. All right. Some of these people 
what's really a trip is when someone asks you for help and you end up finding out there that they're this way and for you trying to make them be better than what they are they they turn turn against you some of these people will ask you for help and then as soon as you go to make them try to become better than what they are they're going to turn against you out of fear that you you feel they're not doing enough even though they really ain't doing enough all right you could always be doing more so the fact that your health was not taken into consideration your well-being was not taken into consideration your peace was not taken into consideration your wellness your health your well-being your good states good nature peace of mind none of that was taken into consideration they looked at that and they said you know what i don't care i can deal with this person being in pain i can deal with this person suffering i can deal with this person going through something they feel good at the sight of seeing you suffer that's why some of them don't want to help that's why some of them don't want to do the things that they said they were going to do for you it's all good until they get close up on you until they start to recognize you know what this person is really going to make it this person is really going to do well this person is really going to do good that's when all those little evil ideas pop in their head they'll tell on themselves and here's the thing they will tell on themselves all you have to do is listen all you have to do is pay attention and they'll tell on themselves so it's up to you about how you want to go about handling the situation all right there are people who are letting you know boldly that they're about to do something to you boldly that you better be on the lookout for their attack, for their warfare, for their strategies that they're going to implement against you. And this is this is this is this is foul play. We have to pray hard. We have to pray hard against these demons. All right. They don't want they don't want to see us do well. They don't want to see us win. They don't even want to see us be alive. Some of them. And that's why that's why they're going to turn up dead. And I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, I do not wish death on someone. But you can't tell me it's not frustrating to constantly meet people with the same spirit that are coming up against you and that want to see you go down. Not go down in history. I'm talking about go down. You'll go down in history. No, we're not talking about that. I'm talking about they, they want to see something bad happen to you because they take pleasure in that. They take pride in being able to sit back and look at what they can cause for another. All right, they'll they'll throw the rock and hide their head. They'll put the bomb over there in the corner and hit the detonation button and watch it implode and hurt innocent people. I'm just saying, no one wants to have this conversation, but if this is real, who will have it? Who, if, if, if what I'm saying is negative and nobody wants to hear this or talk about it, when it happens... And if it does happen, who, who, who who's going to stand up and be the voice? Who's going to stand up and have something to say about this? Because it's not right and it happens. There are people who poison people. There are people who use biological warfare against people. There are people who purposely get people sick. You didn't catch a cold. You didn't get a stomach virus. You didn't get the, uh, anything on your own. These people purposely made you sick. That's why you, 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 you have to use wise judgment. Don't be out here shaking everybody's hand. I don't care if people are offended or not. Don't be out here shaking everybody's hand. All right. It's, it's, still, it's still COVID. It's still all types of germs and stuff like that. And it is what it is. Being, it, you, you'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm just saying. Rather be safe than sorry. And not leaning more on the, you know, you shake somebody's hand, you're going to you know, you, you, you're not going to be here anymore. But what I am saying is that you want to prevent things. If you're sick, you can't get to go to work. What are you going to do? If you're sick and you can't go to your event and that's how you pay your rent, what are you going to do? If you're sick and you can't get up out of bed to, you know, go create, what are you going to do? 
they 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 took those things into consideration and they laughed. They took those things into consideration and they said, oh, well, go to hell. They took those things into consideration and they said, you know what? It's not me. I can live with that. And laughed. See, people who will do harm to you and laugh, those are sociopaths. Those are psychopaths. Those are the nuts, the nut cases. And when you prove them, when you, when, you, when you are able to prove yourself right about their actions and deeds and you're getting close to figuring out who they really are, they'll call you crazy to throw you off and make you feel like it's something wrong about you. Who's going to leave a situation where it looks like you're winning and things are working out well for you? There are some people who are stuck certain places and they go to talk to other people and they say, you know what, who's... Who's, uh, you, what are you, where are you going to go? What are you going to do? You have no skills. You have this. You have nothing. People are painting the picture so negative, but the situation you're in is more negative than, than what could possibly happen. You, when, when you're dealing with negativity, you got to take a risk. When you're in a situation that's not going to change and you feel stuck, you have to try something different. You have to do something new. You have to take a risk. You keep, you know, running into no good people. You keep running into people who want to do you dirty. You keep running into people who think it's fun to watch you get hurt and have harm and bad things happen to you. You have It's something that you have to change or something you have to do different in your life to get a different result. And there, in any, any area of life, in any way of life that you want to change or make better because something is happening that's not right, you can. You have the power... To change anything and everything. You're more than a conqueror. You can overcome anything. You can overcome any obstacle, any circumstance, any situation, anything, any person. So those that wanted to see you harmed and sit back and laugh because they wanted to have a good time and they wanted some enjoyment, they were bored. They needed some entertainment. Let's go harm this guy. Let's go ruin this person's life. Let's go make something harder for this person. Let's go make it hard for this person to do what they need to do. Those are the people that I'm telling you that like if they don't, if they do not repent and change away from their ways. Us making these videos, these are these these are the these are the, the, the these are the trumpets. These are the, 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 this is the last call, man. Or, you know, this is the final warning for these individuals to change and for them to stop doing evil. This is, this is the last straw because sooner or later it's, it's going to be too late. Their ways are going to have destroyed them. Their ways are going to have brought to them what they wished for others, what they wanted to see happen to you, what they wanted to see happen to me, what they wanted to see happen to other people. They do not take the, 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 the repercussions into consideration. They don't take the repercussions into consideration. What if this person cannot feed their family? What if this person ends up in the hospital? What if this person ends up having to, to you know, get some surgery done? What if this person ends up, the unthinkable happens, God forbid. But the thing is, ain't none of that going to touch you. It's all going to be falling on them. And, and this is why... We ha when, when you start to see deceptiveness in those around you, you immediately have to start praying. You can't wait until the chips hit the fan. You can't wait until the attacks come. You can't wait until they've implemented a strategy. And now you're starting to, to, to you know, you, things are starting to happen to you. Bad things are starting to occur. You can't wait till then. You want to be you want to be proactive. You want to take preemptive strikes and pray against these things already and document, 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 pray, 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 document, document, document. There are neighbors that will, there's this one dude's neighbor, he was chemically poisoning his neighbors. They were wondering why they were getting sick. They were wondering why they had health issues. He was poisoning them. And some of, some of us were poisoned too. Some of y'all were poisoned too. Some of us, we thought we had this issue. We thought we had a problem. No, we was poisoned. Somebody tried to do something to us to, to make us not return. Somebody tried to do something to us to destroy us. 
but we're blessed because we're still here. Those things that were meant to hurt us and harm us and take us out of the game, guess what? We're still here and we're stronger and better than ever. And we ain't never giving up. We ain't, we ain't never giving up. See, I'm still dropping videos. They trying to drag, they trying to put, uh, uh, put my channel in the dirt. We ain't never giving up. The devil sent some evil people at me this year. We ain't never giving up. All right. And I'm fighting. I'm fighting this off right now. I'm not sure what's what. All I know is that I'm going to stay strong. And, and, and all I know is that I'm going to keep going. When you have people coming up against you that want to see things happen to you. All right. Whether it be your neighbor, whether it be a coworker, whether it be a family member. Whoever it might be, when you have people in your life that want to see something bad happen to you and they're willing to go to any avail to see that happen, just know God's going to go to any avail to help you and to save you and to push it back on to them. Stay prayed up. When you see the deceptiveness in people, when you see people are deceptive, ask God to, to show you and guide you and teach you and instruct you how to handle it. You're better than them. You're more powerful than them. You're more intelligent than them. You don't have to stoop to their level. You don't have to retaliate. Retaliation for you is going to get you caught and in trouble and in jail and in a court system. That's what retaliation does for you. They have connections. That's why they act bad in the first place. They know they're going to be able to get their way out of it. And you're the one that's going to have to prove that something happened to them. But if you retaliate, you're giving them, you're falling into the trap. You're giving them exactly what they wanted. You're giving them exactly what they were looking for. They were looking for you to take the bait. They were looking for you to, to, to clap back. We all clap back. We all clap. No, let God do all that. Vengeance is mine. Thus saith the Lord. See, in the Bible, it says that our enemies are taking crafty counsel against us. They're having meetings about you. They're having groups, group sessions about how to torture you. You know, you got to do it this way. You got to, they're teaching, they're giving them the dark arts of psychology and passing down the, the narcissistic abuse, torture, torch. They're passing down the abuse torch and teaching other evil people on how to treat the good people like yourself. There are whole meetings and groups and phone calls and sessions and texts about you on how to deal with you. So and so is feeling too good today. Say this. That'll get that. That'll knock them down a peg. This is how you deal with them. Oh, 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 oh. They want to they want to they want to be their best and make us feel small. No, that's not it. But that's how they take it, though, because they're negative. They see, they see uh, positive as negative and negative as positive. They're narcissistic, disturbed, curt, disturbed character, covert, aggressive, um, personality disordered individuals. You have to be extremely careful around people like this. You have to be careful around people like this. People can say what they want about you. You have to do what's best for you to stay healthy because people are not playing fair. And, and the thing is, there are there are people who are in higher up positions that are OK with this. Are there there are there are managers, there are um, a, a apartment managers, housing managers, uh, property managers, maintenance people, um, uh, cleaning people. They're, they're like who there's people in like they have their system worked out for them. It's you versus their crafty counsel. The only thing there to protect you is God. God's the only thing that's going to be there for you. Nobody's going to believe you. Nobody's going to want to hear your part of the story. Nobody's going to understand what you what, what you're dealing with or care. But God will. All right. When everybody else turn their back on you, guess who's always going to be there for you? Your creator, when they say you're lying or they don't believe you or they're putting the blame on you for trying to stick up for yourself and stand up for yourself and not take any abuse from people, not take uh, biological warfare from people, people telling you to your face what they're going to do to you. And then, you, you know, something happens to you. And then what are you supposed to do with that? 
They told me that they was going to do this. They put it out there in a joking way. They hinted at this. They flirted with the idea of this happening and then it happened. They're going to suffer and uh, some, somebody's going to turn up dead, man. And I hate to say it, but that's what they wanted for you. What, what They did not care about your health. They did not care about your wellness. They did not care about your well-being. You have to understand that when you don't care about somebody else, that same energy you put out is going to come back. The universe is not going to care about you some way, somehow. Oh, this is my humble servant. You didn't care about him. You didn't care about his health. You didn't care about him having to go back to take care of his affairs. You didn't care about how his family was going to feel. You didn't care about how the people who loved him was going to feel. You just wanted to see this person suffer. The universe checks that out and they balance that out. I said the universe checks that out and they balance it out. The universe is getting ready to check out and balance all those who have done you wrong. Those who tried to get you sick. Those who tried to harm you, tried to hurt you. All because they see God blessing you. All because they see things working out for you. All because you're positive and your energy is pure, is good, is righteous. They don't know how to get theirs that way or don't want to work hard to. They want to attack the shining star, which is you. They can't attack your shining star and they can't steal your shining star. All right, God's going to uplift you whether they like it or not. God's going to prosper you whether they like it or not. God's going to heal you and make you rich and happy and successful whether they like it or not. You're going to speak your peace. You're going to speak your message. You're going to speak your positivity. You're going to give love for hate whether they like it or not. You're never going to hate them. No matter how much they try to make you, you're not going to. You surpass that. You know how to deal with these people like it's nobody's business. You've been dealing with stuff like this forever. Ain't nothing new under the sun when it comes to their behavior towards you. Well, okay, this is what they're doing now. Okay, okay, okay. It's, just, it, it's nothing new to you. Nothing that you can't defeat. It's just that they have another thing coming. If they think that they're getting away with this one, it's no, it's, they're not going to be able to come back from this one. All right. They're seeing the things that God is doing for you and they're trying to get in the way. They don't want you to be blessed. They don't want you to live a blessed life. They don't want you to live that life where God intervenes. They don't want you to live that life where God has ordained you to have great success. They don't want you to live that life where God has already created you to lie down in green pastures that and they don't want you to live that life where you understand the lord is your shepherd he guides you he leads you he protects you they want you moaning and groaning somewhere they wanted you to not be able to enjoy yourself away from them whether it be your family whether it be some some frenemies whether it be some people you done moved away from, whether it, whether it be some ex coworkers, some you know some some people that you used to work with, you no longer work with them anymore. Maybe it's somebody you work with right now. All right, y'all be y'all be I'll be seeing in the comments. Y'all be telling me all the stuff y'all go through. I understand. I didn't have. I had people. I had people who walked up to me and shook my hand and told me they were sick afterwards. I didn't have people walk up to me, shake my hand and tell me they were sick afterwards and then gaslight me and tell me that it didn't happen. The lady told me she, I was delusional. She told me that didn't happen. You're lying. You're delusional. That's what she said to me. People like that, man, God's got a special place and, and God's got a special place in heaven for you. All right, God's got a special place in heaven for you. All you liars, you gaslighters, you manipulators. All right, you sociopathic, psychopathic, sadistic pieces of sugar, honey, iced tea. All right, all you devils, 
If you don't repent and turn from your ways, I'm telling you right here and right now, God is going to cook your ass. All right. Straight up. God's God is going. He's going to murk y'all, man. He's going to murk y'all because it, it, it and really it's not him. It's the power and the presence of him in you delivering to you what you put out into the world. So really, technically, when you want to try to take me or somebody else out, you're taking out yourself because we are divinely protected. Whatever they do is going to fall back on them tenfold. They wanted to see something happen to you. Guess what? Everything will happen to them. And they're not going to be able to escape it because they're not going to be able to make it from. They're not going to be able to make it back. This time they're finished. They better repent and change and turn from their wicked ways. Because if they don't and if they keep wanting to see people sick, they keep wanting to see people hurt. They keep wanting to see people suffer. Guess what? What, what the hell do you think is going to happen to them? Lice out.